Ross Allen from GAK.co.uk here with another GAC Vision video for you to enjoy. Today we are going to be checking out another one of the fabulous guitars from the company Gibson. We're going to be checking out one of their other new 2017 models. This is the 2017 Les Paul Faded T in worn brown. So let me run through the specifics of this guitar. So we have the usual suspects when it comes to um, a Gibson Les Paul. We have a mahogany body with the ultra modern weight relief body. So this guitar is incredibly light. Um, I wouldn't be able to actually tell you unless you grabbed one yourself, but it is very, very light. We have a maple top in this wicked sort of, as I said, faded brown finish. But even though it is a faded finish, there is a gloss on top the back of the body has been left to a, it's got like a really, really soft gloss on it. And so is the neck. The neck is soft, but they're as if there is like a, a, a slight gloss to the neck as well. So I can imagine these guitars wearing really, really nicely um, where you rest your hands or go up and down the neck and stuff. I'm sure that will buff up quite nice. Um, we've got the standard sort of configuration when it comes to your sort of your layout so you've got your two volumes and your two tones for each pickup you've got your tunematic hard bridge um, obviously comes with the scratch plate which you can take off got a set of gibson humbuckers you've got the 490t in the bridge and the 490r in the neck once again you've got the three-way selector switch obviously the things with the new 2017 is they don't have the selector ring which runs around the actual switch but you can get hold of those and just put one on there if you really wanted to so you've got big jumbo frets on this bad boy with the rosewood fretboard, runs all the way up to the 22nd fret. Um, you've got a really, really slim neck on this guitar. Compared to the traditional that had the big 50 style, this is, comes with a, I would say it's more of a 60s slim style neck on this model. Um, you've got the traditional heel on it, on this Gibson heart as well. Um, and then you've just got a Gibson Les Paul model on the back with the Gibson Deluxe tuners as well. So that's all there is to this new 2017 faded model, really. Um, the one thing that I really like about it that it had over the old 2016 model is, is that slight gloss to it. It adds a little bit of prestige to the model instead of being just, even though these guitars are incredibly affordable entry-level Gibson guitars, they're still made in the USA and it looks like a professional instrument. It doesn't look like a beginner's Gibson. You could see this in the hands of anyone that really, really likes to play Gibson live. So the guitar is running into a Fender Supersonic 22, one of my all time favorite amps. It's going into the clean channel at the beginning and then we're gonna switch over to the drive channel. All of the EQ is at 12 o'clock on this amplifier so we can kind of just, you know, gather from that point on there. So we'll start off with the clean channel and I'll run through the pickups and we can see what it sounds like. <laughs>
Awesome, so that's the guitar run through some clean stuff just on all the pickups. So let me switch the Supersonic 22 to the Overdrive channel and we'll see what the pickups sound like with a bit of dirt. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So, there you go, another one of Gibson's brand new 2017 guitars. Absolute beautiful instrument to look at, play, and it sounds absolutely killer. So as I said before, they're down in the shop now, so make sure you come down, get your hands on them, see what you really think of them, and then give me a shout, see what you, you know, tell me what you think of these guitars. Thanks for watching, guys.